Hi guys, so movement therapy again. Okay, so again, another Pilates session for you to do. Um, you should have done the warm up, the Pilates warm up. This is a session you can do and obviously finish off with the Pilates stretches at the end as well. Okay, so we're gonna start off with a spine twist. Okay, so if you want, if you've got a block, or you've got a cushion, sometimes it's a bit more comfortable sitting a little bit further up off the floor. Because what you're gonna do is cross the legs. Now, if you do struggle with crossing your legs, just bend your legs out in front if you do need to, okay? So, if you sat on a block or a cushion or even on the floor, it'll be fine. Okay, so with a spine twist, again, we're gonna work for mobility of the back. So, bring stick up the spine, head up nice and tall, shoulders relaxed. We're gonna think about holding the metacarpal muscles in, and again, drawing to the pelvic floors as well, okay? So, fingertips, fingertips touching, just underneath the chest there, or do the chest, underneath the chin there, relax the shoulders down, thumb in the chest and thinking it's underneath the chin, that's what I mean. Okay, and we're gonna slowly twist to the side. So up nice and tall, we're gonna breathe in. And as you're breathing out, a little twist to right, slowly round, just that point where you can feel the twist, just take it there, hold it there, breathe in. And as you're breathing out, a little twist to the front and all the way around to the side. Nice twist to the back there, hold it there, breathe in. And as you're breathing out again, up nice and tall, slowly to centre. Way round, feel that nice twist. Back towards the centre. Again, slowly round. Okay, breathe in. When you're breathing out, just do one more to the side. We'll come back to the centre. We can make it a little bit harder if we feel we can. Okay, this time, keep your arms come out to the side. If you want to make it harder, if not, go back to the position. But just showing you, okay. So again, put the head up nice and tall. The head will follow the arm. You do not take the head. The arm across the body, okay? We're twisting through the spine. So we're going to breathe in, breathing out a little twist to the right or the left, doesn't matter which side. Back up to centre, up nice and tall, hold it there, breathe in, breathing out. So again, twisting through the back there, head up nice and tall, breathe in, breathing out all the way around and back towards the centre. Up nice and tall. So again, think about the minicar muscles, think about the pelvic floors. Okay, this time again, if you want to make it a little bit harder, we can add a couple little pulses in. So we're going to breathe in, breathe out, we're going to take it, push one, two, nice and tall, breathe in. Breathe out, twist, push one, two, take it up nice and tall, hold it there, breathe in. Just little twist, one, two, and again, twist, push one, two. A little bit harder on the back, just be careful it's not too much. Go through the progressions and find what feels right for you. Let's just do one more. And twist, push one, two, back to centre, release the arms down. Okay, this time then, on to our backs, we'll do a little bit of ab control. Again, you can use a pillow to help just assist your neck and keep that aligned for the neck. Okay, so on to our backs, and these are bent. Okay, so nice and steady, first of all, make sure your feet hit the part, little rock forward for the pelvis, forward and back, make sure your spine's underneath, your shoulders relax on the floor. We're going to use the hands, place the hands behind the head. So we're going to relax the head, into the hands, elbows open, chest nice and soft. Now we're not using the hands to pull the neck forwards, we're just using it just to help sort of support it so you're not feeling the pressure through the neck and shoulders. If you do fight to pull the neck forward, just put your hands at the side of the head there. So you're going to breathe in, breathe it out to the lift and squeeze, keep that arm to the chin, really control that movement, breathe in, breathe it out, lift and squeeze and control it back down. So you're going to breathe in, breathe it out, lift, squeeze, Control it down. So really feel our abdominals squeeze together. Relax that head and the hands. So really working their tummy muscles to help strengthen through our back. So we're going to breathe in. And now lift, squeeze, and control it down. So you really feel their tummy muscles working. Again, if you struggle with this one, if you feel the struggle lifting the head off the floor, you do the 100 way to take one leg off at a time. And most of my ladies know that one as well. Most people are okay with this. Again, just try and take the pressure off the head there and just try and relax the head and the hands. This time I'm going to push up a little bit further. We're going to come up for one, squeeze it for two, lower down for three. So we're going to breathe in. Then I'll lift up for one, squeeze for two, lower back down for three. So again, I'm going to breathe in. Then I'll lift up for one, squeeze for two, lower back down for three. Okay, so again, I'll take it up, squeeze it up, lower down. I'm going to make it harder as well if you come from my thighs. So what we're going to do without hurting the neck, shoulders, we struggle with that function. So you're going to breathe in, you lift and squeeze it up, take the arms in line with the ears, drop it back down, lower down. If you struggle at this point, go back to what I've just shown you, squeeze it up, hold it, take it in line with the ears, drop it down to the thighs, 
lower down. So you're going to breathe in, lift and squeeze, hold it there. Now the ears down and lower back down again. So you're going to breathe in, now lift and squeeze, drop it now the ears, back down, top of the thighs, lower down. Let's do four more. So you're going to breathe in, now lift and squeeze, allow the ears, hold that position there, slowly lower the spine, shoulders and head down. So you're going to breathe in, lift and squeeze, allow the ears down. And one more time, so we're going to breathe in. Lift and squeeze, hold it there. Drop in line the ears, down to the thighs, and lower down. Well done. Give them legs a stretch out, give them arms a stretch out, stretch out the spine, and so they can give it a little shake out. Okay, so a little bit of ab work there, okay? This time then, we're going to work for the shoulders. What we're doing. So the windows, okay, I'm come down so you can sort of see my position again. So with the windows, quite nice mobility of the shoulders. So this time again, keeping that neutral spine, shoulders relaxed on the floor, arms stretched up, shoulders blades to the floor, make sure your palms are facing forward. So with the windows, we're going to breathe in, breathe in out. So you come down to you, you bring your fingertips to the back wall, keep the U-shape, try to touch the floor, extend above the head, and then all the way back up again. So you'll breathe in, breathe it out, back into the U, bring it in to the U-shape, extend above the heart, head there, and all the way back up. So again, keep the shoulder blades relaxing to the floor. Elbows down, fingertips above the head, extend above the head, the head there, take it all the way back up again. Again, it's quite a nice one, just to sort of get that mobility through the shoulders a little bit as well. It's quite nice, okay. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Back wall, stretch it up, and all the way back again. So elbows down, fingertips to the back wall, Send it up, let's just do a couple more. So again, elbows down, fingertips back wall, extend it above the head. And again, one more time, elbows down towards the floor, fingertips above the head, extend above the head, all the way up, and all the way back down. Well done. Okay, a little bit for the shoulders as well, we'll do. Okay, so keeping the shoulders, we're going to take the arms stretched up, palms facing inwards, shoulder blades relaxed into the floor. So we're going to lift the shoulder blade off the floor as that arm grows about an inch or so. So we're going to breathe in. Give it out, so lift up towards the ceiling, push your shoulder blade back down. So you're going to breathe in, give it out, take it up. So we're alternating each arm, nice and slowly, stretching up towards the ceiling, push your shoulder back down. So you're going to breathe in, lift it up, control it down. So nice and controlled. So again, just a little bit through the shoulders. Let's do a few more. So again, breathe in, stretch it up, shoulder blade back down again. Let's just do two more on each arm. So you're going to breathe in, just breathing out, stretch it up, shoulder blade down. And again, stretch it up, we'll just do one more each side. So again, breathe in, and out, stretch it up, and shoulder that down, and the other one, and lower back down, release the arms down. Okay then. So this time then, we're gonna, um, gonna work the shoulder bridging. So again, nice one for the hips and the back. So making sure that feet are hip width apart. So hips, knees, and feet. Feet flat on the floor, bring the heels a little bit close towards the bottom there. Shoulders and arms relaxed by the side. Okay, so relax that head in the floor. We're going to do some nice little pelvic tilting, so just working through the hips to start off with. So we're going to breathe in, breathe out, going to roll the hips under, push your spine to the floor, then roll the hips back in. So we're going to breathe in, breathe out, roll the hips under, push your spine to the floor, and roll the hips back. So we're just working the hips. Nice one for the lower back there. A little pelvic tilt, so you're going to breathe in, breathe out, roll the hips under. And roll the hips back. Let's do a couple more. We're going to bring it into shoulder bridging. Okay, one more time. So we're going to breathe in, breathe out, roll the hips under, and back. This time we're going to peel the spine to the floor. If it's too much for you, keep the pelvic tilt in. So we're going to breathe in, breathe out, roll the hips under, peel the spine off, push the hips up nice and tall, hold it there, breathe in. Breathe out nice and slow from the spine, one vertebra at a time into the floor. That's the top part, the middle, the lower, and the hips come down last. Okay, so we're going to breathe in. Now roll the hips under, peel the spine to the floor, push the hips up nice and tall, hold it there, breathe in. And as you're breathing out, lower the spine, top, middle, and lower. Let's do a couple more. So we're going to breathe in, breathe out, roll the hips under, peel the spine to the floor, push the hips up nice and tall, hold that position there, breathe in. Just breathing out slowly from the spine into the floor, and the hips come down. Let's do one more time like that. So we're going to breathe in. Now roll the hips under, the other spine to the floor, push it as far as you can, pull up position there, breathe in, and as you're breathing out nice and slowly, imprint the spine into the floor, and the hips come down last, okay. This time, what we're going to do is take the arms half of the floor, so 
keeping in, finish elbow to hands of the floor, keep the elbow and top of shoulders on the floor, okay? So I'm just taking, obviously, the support of the arms, the side, making it a little bit harder, having to control the movement a little bit more. So we're going to breathe in, then out so again, exactly what we're just doing, bringing the spine off, push your hips up nice and tall, hold it there, breathe in, breathe out slowly, and put the spine to the floor, and it's come down last. So again, we're going to breathe in, breathing out, roll the spine, pull the spine up on the floor, push your hips up nice and tall, hold it there, breathe in. Breathing out, slowly and the top, middle and lower. I'm going to make it even harder, I'm going to stretch your arms to see. Keep your shoulders raised to the floor, so now we've not got any contact to the floor with the arms, making it harder, having to use the muscles a little bit harder to support the body. So we're going to breathe in, breathing out, so roll the hips under, push the spine to the floor, floor to see, I should say. Hold it nice and tall, hold it there, breathe in. And just breathing out, slowly and the spine to the floor as the hips come down last again, breathe in. Now, so you're going to roll the hips under, push the hips up nice and tall, hold it there, breathe in. You're breathing out slowly from the spine into the floor. Okay, fine, if you want to make it even harder, this time as you peel the spine from pushing the hips up, we're going to hold it and we're going to do some nice rainbow shapes on top of the body, keep that position there, holding it. If we can, we're going to do four, nice and slowly, keep the hips lifted and then one more time, supporting that rainbow shape of the body. Arms back up. Breathe in, breathe out, lower spine down. If that's too much for you, go back to what we've just done. Okay, so just do a couple more. So again, peel the spine off, push your hips up nice and tall. Nice rainbow shapes across the body, nice and slowly. Keep the hips lifted. Two more if you can. Come down if you need to. And again, one more time. Holding it there. Hold it, breathe in, breathe in out, slowly lower the spine, hips down last. Let's do one more time like that if you can. So breathe in, breathe in out, and roll the hips under. Feel that spiral the floor, push your hips up nice and tall, up position. Stretching out for the chest. One, two, just do what you can. Three, and then again, four. Holding that position up there, hold it, breathe in. Breathing out slowly, put the spine to the floor, as the hips come down last. Bring one knee and the other, hold the knees in. Do a little rock from side to side, okay? You feel that, move the hips back, nice one, the shoulder bridging, okay? This time then, we're going to do some one leg circles. We're going to hit for the hip mobility. So we're going to start with the right leg in the bed leg position. We're going to imagine that the pen is the kneecap. We're going to keep the hips nice and still. We're going to think about when the core muscles and pelvic floors we do as well. So little circles round, keeping them hips nice and still. So the pen is the knee, and we're drawing a circle clockwise round about the size of an apple, nice and slowly. If you want to make it harder, you stretch the leg up to the ceiling, and then the pen is the big toe. Okay, it's a little bit harder. We're keeping them hips nice and still. We're going to start to make a circle a bit bigger. So a little bit bigger, nice and slowly around. Okay, now we're going to start to get bigger. Any point, if you need to drop your leg down, drop your leg down. Bend your knee if you need to. So now we're going to form big circles, as big as we can. Nice and slowly, keeping them hips nice and still on the floor. Big movement, coming to that one leg, working through the bottom socket in the hip there. Big circles, okay? Now, if we can, we're going to change direction, but keep the circles big, okay? Keep the circles big, change direction, okay? I'm not giving you any rest. If you do need to drop your leg down, give it a shake, you can. So it's keeping it big, okay? But we've changed direction this time. So again, nice and slowly, nice and controlled. We're going to start to get a little bit smaller. So a little bit smaller. You really feel that through the hips now, the leg. Just make sure it's not hurting your hips. So circles all the way around, nice and controlled. Okay, then we're going to finally go back to little circles. Little circles, nice and slowly, nice and controlled. We're almost there, guys. Again, be careful, she's not hurting. Okay, three, two, one. That's it. Bend it in, stretch it out, give it a bit of a shake. Well done. Whew, one leg down, the other leg to go. So, left leg this time, leg and table top, bent leg. Okay, is the easier option. Pen is the kneecap, little circles, clockwise round outside of an apple. If you want to make it harder, stretch your leg up to the ceiling. And again, the bet pen is the big toe now, okay? So little circles nice and slowly, keep the hips nice and still. Nice and controlled with the circles. Again, if you need to drop the leg down, you can. We're going to start to get a bit bigger. So again, keep the hips nice and still, we're starting to get bigger. So again, one leg circles we're doing now, nice and slowly. Nice and controlled. So now we're going to set circles as big as we can. 
without moving the body too much. Nice and controlled. Bend that knee if you need to, or drop it down and stretch it out. Just do what you can. Make sure it's not hurting. It's quite challenging this, right through the hips that. So again, we're going to keep the circles nice and big, but we're going to change direction. Change direction, but keep the circles big. Nice and slow, keep the body nice and still. So big circles, nice and slowly, all the way around. Bend the leg or drop it down if you need to. We're going to start to get a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller. Slowly control that movement, keep the hips nice and still, and nice and slowly around again. Nice and slow, we're going to slowly go back to the little circles. A little circles about the size of an apple now. That's it, we're almost there. So now you're going to really feel that in the leg. Last little bit, slowly around. Three, two, one. Well done. Bend it in, stretch it out. Let's give them legs a stretch out. Let's give them arms a stretch out. Let's give that full body a stretch out and shake it out. Well done. Okay, the last one we're doing this session today then is working for the lower spine. Lower two muscles there. So it's like one leg lowers. But again, we're going to break it down just to do what we can. So remember, just be careful, just do what you can. Make sure it's not hurting your back. So both legs will be lifted, so you're going to straight away from the back pull to up. We're going to try and pull back down so you're not creating an arch. Pull the belly button down because you'll hurt your back. You've got a big arch in the back. So both legs in tabletop, knees with the hip there, push your back into the floor, and we'll just do a little toe tap down. So we're going to breathe in, breathe it out, down. So again, keep thinking about the core muscles, pelvic floors. At the same time, so we're always thinking internally, nice and slow. So a little touch on the floor there, I'm not putting all the weight on the floor, but keeping that back pulled into the floor, you're not arching the back. So that's to arch your back, just be careful. Try and pull that belly button down into the floor. So again, that's it, you're not arching that back. Nice and slowly. Okay, now you can keep that. If you want to make it a bit harder, you stretch your legs at the ceiling, and it's long leg lower. So, obviously a lot harder. The lower you come down, the harder it'll be. Just be careful in the back. If it's too much, just don't go too far. Just take it slowly down and back up again. Keep the back pulled into the floor. If you need to, bend the knees. So slowly. So again, breathe it in and out. Take it down and control it up. Okay? A little bit harder. If you want to make it even harder, you can lift the head and shoulders to the floor. So again, relax the head and the hands in a clip position. Keep the arm to the chin. You feel it here as well as working here. So a lot harder now. And again, you can make it even harder. Just be careful of this. You can bring both legs down and up. A lot more harder that. Just be careful with that. It's a lot harder. It's not hurting your back and you're not pulling that back off the floor. If not, just keep the single legs or the bent leg version. You can really feel that the tummy muscles there. Nice and slowly. The bent leg version is that one. So again, it's a little bit easier on the back. Okay, so we'll just do four more. Both legs, one leg, or bent leg. That's it, nice and slowly. Let's just do one more. And lower the legs down. Pull the knees in. Ooh, give it a little rock out from side to side. Give it a little stretch out. Ooh. Well done, you can really feel that from the two muscles there, okay? So well done, that's another session for you to try. Make sure now you go on and find the stretches. So you need to do the stretches now to stretch out the muscles, okay? Well done, take care, see you soon.